It's terrifying knowing that some of the most ruthless serial killers are still out there. Let's take a look at some of the newest serial killers that are still being hunted, from a killer who strangled multiple victims, to a killer who decapitated victims and collected their bones. We take a look at some of their most horrifying acts. On December 26, 2005, a body was found in an alleyway. Later, the body was identified to be 45-year-old Laqueda Gunther. She had been shot in the back of the head. A second victim, 34-year-old Julie Green, was found January 14, 2006. She had also been shot in the back of the head. Just over a month later, on February 24, 2006, police found the body of Iwana Patton on a dirt road. She had been shot, but not in the back of the head, and possibly had struggled with her killer. All three women are believed to have worked as prostitutes in the Daytona Beach area. Police believe the victims voluntarily accompanied their killer, possibly on a vehicle, and were subsequently murdered and dumped in the same area of the Daytona Beach. On January 8, 2008, the remains of Stacy Gage was found, and as with other victims, she was also shot in the head. In some of the crime scenes, tire tracks were found, which matched a 2003 Taurus or a Sable. Due to the similarities between the victim profiles and the method in which they were killed, it is believed to be the work of a serial killer, dubbed the Daytona Beach Killer. It's possible that there are other victims. However, conclusive evidence to tie in other bodies have not been found. Four dead bodies of women, identified as prostitutes, were found in a drainage ditch filled with shallow water on November 20th, 2006 on the outskirts of Atlantic City. All of them were placed face down in a row, facing east, about 60 feet apart from each other. They were clothed, except for having their shoes and socks removed. They were believed to have been strangled to death. It is believed to be the work of a serial killer, dubbed the Eastbound Strangler or the Atlantic City Serial Killer. A $25,000 reward offered for information has gone unclaimed since 2015. On February 2, 2009, a woman walking a dog found a human bone on the West Mesa and reported it to the police. After a follow-through investigation, authorities discovered the remains of 11 women and girls and a fetus buried in the area. They were between the ages 15 and 32. Most were Hispanic and most were involved with drugs and sex work. Police suspect that the bodies were all buried by the same person or persons, and maybe the work of a serial killer, who has since come to be referred to as the West Mesa Bone Collector. In December 2010, a police officer was walking his dog when he found the skeletal remains of a human body near Ocean Parkway on the south shore of Long Island. When authorities searched the area further, three more bodies were found. Due to the location and the burial site, a serial killer was quickly suspected. In late March and April, four more bodies were discovered. This led to an expanded search area, and the number of skeletons found went up. By December, 10 different skeletal remains were found. They also found two human teeth a foot away from the other remains. The police later revealed that the two sets of remains found matched two legs that were found in a garbage bag that had washed up on Fire Island in 1996. On November 29th, police announced that they believed one person is responsible for all 10 murders and that the person is almost certainly from Long Island. From the remains found, it's been speculated that the span of killing started in 1996 to at least 2010 and possibly even 2013 and that there might be up to 16 victims. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you like this video please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content.